Welcome to Project Slice. It's Dr. K with another video to help you manage your project plans to ensure success. In this four part series, we're going to look at applying critical path analysis to our project network diagram to calculate our activity start and end times, identify the critical path, calculate activity slack, and ensure that your project stays on track. Let's get started with part one. We will begin by taking a look at our project network table. This table tells us the activities in the project, the precedence, or in other words, the activities that must be completed before the specified activity can start, the duration, or in other words, how long the activity takes, and now the steps for our critical path analysis. Step one involves creating an activity on node or AON network diagram to represent the project. An activity on node diagram is one in which the activities are represented by the nodes, while the arrows show what activities come next. Both A and B are known as predecessor activities of C because they precede or come before C and they must be complete before C can start. C is known as a successor activity of both A and B because C succeeds or comes after them. Successor activities depend on their predecessors ending before they are able to start. Now let's get to drawing. First, we create a start node where all the activities will flow from. As we can see, both A and B do not have any precedence activities. So that tells us that they are the starting activities of the project. So let's use arrows to connect them to the start node. We will also add their durations for reference. C has both A and B as predecessors. So we connect them like this. D has only A as a successor. So we go ahead and connect it. E has B as its only predecessor. And our last activity, F, has both C and D as predecessors. Since there are no more activities, we can create an end node to represent the finish of the project. We connect F and E to the end node since neither has any successor activities. And there, step one is complete. We have drawn our activity on node diagram to represent our project. Remember to check out part two of this video where we continue on with our critical path analysis of the project network. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to keep up with more great project management content. What project management topic would you like me to cover next? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, this is Dr. K saying, keep calm and project on.